Darnell Morris. Uh, I have room, I had rheumatoid arthritis, and I don't say had because I don't have any symptoms of that now. And uh, because I wasn't getting any help medically in the States with medications and stuff, and I talked to some people that's had stem cell, uh, that's what made me want to see about it more. And I did. I looked into it and talked to lots of people and asked lots of questions and went to the website and read all the stuff on there that I could possibly, you know, take in. Well, it, every day, was <laughs> you, when you get up out of bed, of course, getting up is the first problem because I was so sore all the time and, and swollen. Uh, I couldn't enjoy going shopping because it was such a pain to just walk through the store on the concrete and stuff, you know, just hurts you all over. Uh, my husband did the vacuuming, he did the ironing because I couldn't hold the iron, I couldn't hardly stand to move it, you know, I could some, but just very little. There's a lot of things around the house I could not do. But, and opening jars, that was a problem, big time, you know. Who tightened the jars down, you know? But now I can do pretty much all those things by myself. Well, a myriad of things, because I've had it since 1978. And uh, I've had Plaquenil, I've had Enderol, I've had Methotrexate, I've had Prednisone, I've had uh, mountains of uh, Tylenol and Ibuprofen, uh, just everything, and I've even tried homeopathic things, you know, that you can, foods that you eat, foods that you don't eat, that, that kind of, just all kinds of drugs. Uh, the last drug that I was taking uh, is called minocycline. It's a real old antibiotic. I got some relief from that, better than anything else I'd, I'd been on previously. But it started affecting my liver, so they had to take me off of that. So that was my last drug. And they offered to put me on Embryo and Humira, and I refused that because it takes your immune system away and leaves you open for everything else. Oh, it's superb. I mean, they could take what they do and show these doctors up here how to do it. It would be cool about how they treat their patients. From the moment you step off the plane, you're in somebody's care. You know, even though it's a foreign country, and we'd never been out of the country, so that was a new experience for us, but it was like we were in somebody's hands the whole time. We didn't have one bad incident. And then, unlike here, when you go see the doctor, you've got you got all these nurses and PAs and nurse practitioners, but you had the doctor and you had his full attention. If there's questions, like everybody has questions, but they are so um, apt at telling you all the information that you really don't have a whole lot left to ask because they pretty much cover everything. And then, you know, from the time we got here until we left, I, was, I knew I was all right. You know, it was, it, was, it was just a totally good experience. The girls in the office, just so cute and so nice. And the language wasn't a barrier. I worried about that before we went, but it was not a barrier at all. Everybody spoke on my language. Not Texas, but <laughs> it was on my language. I can understand it. <laughs> I haven't felt good since I was 28 years old. And so all that release, and so when those stem cells, I'm sure, were doing their work, it's just one little phase of that after the other. And I can now raise my arms up over my head. I couldn't do that for several years. Hard time to comb my hair. Sometimes my husband do that, and that was a freak job. But uh, like at the airport, because I have an artificial knee, they wanted me to stretch my arms out to the side and raise my palms up. I couldn't do that when we went down there, but I can certainly do it now. And I can get up out of a chair and walk off. Used to, I had to have somebody help me get up, you know. Just lots, of, just just moving around is so fluid now. It, it's normal, it feels normal. And I don't have any pain, which with rheumatoid arthritis is a biggie. I do not have pain. Don't be scared of it, and, and it, it's uh, it's proven now. There's so many people that's been there and had such good results. Be apprehensive if they if doctors want to put you on drugs. That's the thing. This you know, I I don't take any medication now. I take my vitamin D3, and I take vitamin C and E, and fish oil. If you have 
these medical problems that they can help you with down there. Go to their website, fill out that application, send it in, let the doctors review it, and they will call you back. And you can ask them questions, and they'll ask you questions. And don't hesitate to go. I, it'll be the best thing you've ever done for yourself. I wish I could have done it 20 years ago. I wouldn't, be, wouldn't have the bone destruction I have had and the misery that I've had all these years. But now I'm, I'm perfect as far as how I feel compared to six months ago.